Hi, I'm Ian, and I'm in the centre of London. This is a very strange experience for me because normally I'm behind a camera. Um, I make documentaries, and I've been doing that for over 30 years now. So I'm more used to asking the questions than answering the questions. On the two occasions that I reached out to Samaritans, I was in a pretty desperate place. I would say that on both occasions, the ability to get those feelings, the feelings of lack of self-worth, hopelessness, whatever you want to call it, the ability to actually just say it empowered me <laughs> to then go to the people around me. I knew that Samaritans was here. And, you know, I've compared it to the idea of, you know, sink or swim. And, um, you know, those would have been two times where I really thought I was going to sink. And now I'm a swimmer. The biggest barrier to opening up and talking is shame. That people feel they've let themselves down, they've let other people down. That it's wrong to feel... And that shame is, is, you know, it's just, it's everywhere, really. I come from a generation where you just didn't talk about these things. And I think attitudes have changed. And I think the more that we can make sure that those attitudes change is really important. But I think that there's still an issue where, for men particularly, it's hard just to admit and the word that comes to my mind is weakness. It's hard to admit that you've got this problem because it's seen as a weakness. It's seen as something that makes you feel kind of like, you know, emasculated. And that's ridiculous. Whether it's a society thing, whether it's a culture thing, whatever it might be, men have never really been encouraged to talk about their feelings. Men need to talk about this stuff. There's always some hope and there's always someone to help you or there's always something to encourage you to keep going.